My name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. Are you terrified to live in the United States of America? Are you uh, afraid of where your country's at and where it's going? If you're not, you really, really should be. You see, we were once a, a great republic. Then we turned into a democracy. Then we uh, edged over to a shoddy democracy, flirted with banana republic, but now we're just a full-fledged finocracy. Finocracy. We have financial special interests controlling us from top to bottom. They run the government. They write the legislation that the government passes into law that governs you, the American people, or the, the people of the world, for that matter. We live in this finocracy where we are going to become nothing more than a consumer data point we're going to be nothing more than a cog in the finocracy. Now, we're going to hear all kinds of data come out in the next few days about uh, a sustainable recovery, an uptick, an uptick in the economy. Let's be real. We're sitting here with nearly 50 million people on food stamp. The housing sector has fallen farther in the last five years than it did in the Great Depression. We're sitting here with millions of people who have been foreclosed on over a million a year. We're spending a tri over a trillion dollars a year that we don't have in order to save a bunch of institutions that brought us here in the first place. We've set the system up so that when this does implode, and it must, the people of the world take the brunt of the fraudulent failure of the owners of the finocracy. This is where we're at. There is no recovery. There is no growing out of this. There is no uh, employment silver bullet that's coming our way. Mitt Romney, Barack Obama, they are uh, one in the same. They play, they dance the same tune from the same puppet masters. The mainstream media is going to give you nothing but propaganda. They're going to have you talk about, you know, is Mitt Romney have a bunch of offshore accounts? Is Obamacare going to eventually uh, be voted down, repealed? This is garbage. This is nothing more than garbage for us to consume while we're not paying attention to what's really happening on this planet. Our financial future is being shredded. Our, uh, our military is being spread across this globe. People are being butchered in our names. And we're sitting here arguing about meaningless topics. We're listening to talking heads in, alter in uh, mainstream media and in alternative media, distracting us from what's happening. And what's happening is the end of the United States of America, the end of liberty on this planet, the end of freedom on this planet, and the replacement of freedom with a financial master. And if you don't like it, if you don't, if you dare to stand up and say something about it, they have a plan for that as well. It's not accidental National Defense Authorization Act 2012 gave the government, even though the president said he'd never use this power, it gave the government the ability to black bag anybody in this country and make them disappear if they are deemed a belligerent actor by a bureaucrat. Now we have a DHS, Department of Homeland Security. By the way, just mentioning Department of Homeland Security could get this video and my speech flagged for further investigation. But I digress. The Department of Homeland Security spends $12 million paying it to the University of Maryland for what? So they can do a study, the START program. Study of terrorism and response to terrorism. And what did they find? A new uh, uh, breed of Al-Qaeda in the mountains of Afghanistan that we have to be on the lookout for? No. They found that the American people themselves are going to become the target. The American people themselves, people who want to stand up for liberty, people who think their nation is on the wrong path, people who prepare for natural disasters, man-made or otherwise. These are the potential extremists. These are the potential terrorists. This is just another uh, piece of information we've had in a long string of information that shows the guns of the security industrial complex, these trillions of dollars that have been spent making uh, a very, very select few fabulously wealthy, these trillions of dollars being spent to protect the people of this country, these guns are going to be turned inwards on the people who dare to stand up and say something. So we have a choice. We can either stand up, speak out, demand change together, or we can sit back and be nothing more than a consumer data point, a cog in the finocracy. Stories are attached. That's all I got.